Hey guys, Aunt BV Madsen here. We're gonna try something a little different today, a little experiment, but uh, hope it's gonna turn out okay. Look at this fender. You guys all remember this one, right? We undercoated it, we cleaned it, and there ain't no saving the chrome. <laughs> There's not much chrome left on there. And just look at these deep, 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 deep scratches. Ah, hurts to look at a piece like this, but um, I think we're gonna go with a satin black paint over the chrome, you'd think you'd be able to just grab a rattle can and hit it, but you actually need some special stuff. And also we're gonna need to put a little bit of work into this because while it's straight, it's gouged up pretty good. So here's my approach for any major imperfections. Got myself some Bondo body filler. Hopefully I don't have to use a ton of that on that, but uh, maybe on the rear fender, if this works, I'll be tackling that and I will need Bondo on that for sure. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use some epoxy spray paint. It's a two-parter. Um, this was what I've seen has been recommended is to use an epoxy primer over chrome. And then we're gonna go with some hot rod black satin on that fender. I think it's gonna pop really nice on the Apocalypse bike. We'll let that all cure up. And then we've got our clear that we can throw on that. So using some high quality paint on a really cheap fender, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, it's just time to get sanding because the, the only way you're gonna get stuff to really stick on this is if we scuff up this thing really aggressively um, it's already scuffed up, but I want to sand it all really nice and smooth. So I've got some pretty aggressive. I'm going to start with some 600, see how that goes. And if I have to, I may resort to some real coarse stuff because it's all about adhesion. So I do have some hundred sandpaper. Ooh, that stuff will scratch it up for sure. So let's get to work on sanding the front fender. All right, I got my mask on. And put some gloves on as well so I don't get all messed up. And again, I've got that 600 on my sander. Let's see if we can scuff this thing up enough to maybe hit it with that primer. Nothing special here, just sand. It would help if I had some power. All right, we got some power. The 600's worthless, go for the heavy stuff. So as you can see, that 600 is actually making this a little bit too smooth. So I'm gonna up my game, I'm gonna go to the 100 here. And we're gonna give this a really nice scratchy scratch. I already like that. See, we're already getting some scratches in there. And I think that's gonna just help us get some bonding on the Bondo. I'm really torn as to whether or not I should Bondo this. I feel like I should just do a nice skim layer on this and then sand it all nice and flat because there really are some deep, deep, <laughs> deep, deep scratches in this that I think are gonna show through on anything we do. So I'm just gonna keep going with the 100. All right, still kind of working this 100. And it's definitely all scuffed up, but you know, as I run my hand across this, I can just feel like the ripple in this, I can feel those imperfections. So I think we're gonna have to get the Bondo out and start laying it down. I'm just gonna make sure I get this all scuffed up. I'm gonna paint, go ahead and paint this all black as well. We're just gonna go blacky black on all of it. It's gonna look sweet on the Apocalypse bike for sure. Now this is a bit of a bit of an experiment, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, worst case scenario, you know, I screw it up, I sandblast it, and go get the whole thing re-chromed, or just hop on eBay, go find another part. But I'm just curious, I, one, I think the black is gonna look really good with the direction of the Apocalypse bike. And then, you know, the other part is, I'm just curious. I'm just curious to see if we can paint over chrome. I've seen a lot of stuff out there saying, you know, it's impossible, it cannot be done. I don't know. And I saw other people saying it can be done. So kind of more in the it can be done camp. I think we just gotta scuff it all up. And again, there's not much chrome left on this part at all. You can clearly see as I've been sanding, you know, I think it's nickel base on this. It's pretty much all nickel. There's some chrome left in this area. But other than that, it's pretty much done. I think I'm just gonna finish up sanding this. 
And then we'll get to the Bondo. All right, we've got our Bondo, and uh, this is something I don't do a whole ton of, so I'm gonna follow the directions one by one. Clean surface with warm soapy water or residue remover, allow to dry. I'm gonna wipe it down with some acetone. Sand damaged areas, 80 grit sandpaper, uh, go through all of that, and then mix. We'll get our hardener in here. Looks like for a golf ball sized amount of filler, squeeze about a one and one quarter inch strip of hardener. All right, so that's kind of the, the mix that we need to remember. Then we're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes, come back, hit it with sandpaper, and feather any edges with 180 grit. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's go for it, guys. I am not a professional, but uh, don't forget the hardener. All right, step one, clean the surface. I'm gonna go with good old acetone and grab your respirator. Cause this stuff is nasty. It smells crazy. It'll creep up on you. Just put a little bit of that over on my rag. I'm gonna wash our surfaces really, really good. All right, let's get everything off from this point forward. No bare fingers on the metal. <laughs> All right, no bare fingers on the metal. We don't want oil residue. All right, surface is clean. Time to mix up some Bondo. All right, let's tap into the Bondo. Just gonna open the top lid here. Again, I'm not a body man. If you're a body man, bad body woman, uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'm learning every step of the way here, but we're gonna Bondo this and sand this thing smooth. So the directions said a golf ball size. So I'm just gonna kinda eye this up to what I think. <laughs> Look at the mess I'm making already. And I think that would be about a golf ball size. If I can go there, I'll mix it up as I go because this stuff will start to harden up pretty quickly from my past experience. Make sure you get that lid on there really well. And then if we're following the instructions for about a golf size bar, we do about one and a quarter inches of hardener. Let's say that's about it. Just like that, close enough. And then let's mix this up. Let's mix this up really, really good. Should be kind of a light pink color. Once we get it, I really just want to get all that main, the main kind of big imperfections out of this stuff as quick as I can. I'm going to have to work pretty fast, so I might be doing some fancy uh, <laughs> video shooting here. And that feels pretty good. Put that aside. I hand a little flexible Bondo kind of spatula here. Let's get this out of here. Let's get to work on this fender. Move you up just a little bit. I'm gonna grab some. And let's identify some of these bad spots. Let's just start laying it on. Hey, I just wanna make sure that I'm hitting all of my kind of imperfection spots. There are a lot of them on here. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm gonna just try to get this laid out as smooth as I can before it hardens up. All right, now we wait. You can see I got it down in there pretty nice and smooth. I think that's gonna sand out pretty darn well once we get to that point. I mean, these were the real trouble spots. We're right in here. Then again, over here, it was really, really bad. So again, I think I got a good start. Now we wait, it says wait 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the heater, heat up the garage, and just give this time to cure. I'm also gonna clean my spatula so uh, in case I gotta go back over it, I've got it. And uh, you know, if you let this stuff dry in your tools, it's kind of a nightmare to get off later. So might as well do it now. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Feeling okay. It's a little tacky in here yet. I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. <laughs> this, is, this is killing me. It's like watching paint dry or something. We have prepared, we have filled, and we're moving closer to paint, but we're not quite there because we're still waiting. Let it cure 20 to 30 minutes, then we're gonna sand and feather the edges with a finer grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna hit it with two or three coats of primer to cover that whole fender. And uh, yeah, 
I guess we're going for it. But then uh, after we prime, sand with find, all right? I cannot forget to do that. We're gonna sand it after we prime, but two or three coats of primer over top of the sanded Bondo. All right, I'm going by the directions. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. All right, feeling good about it. Got my sandpaper on my sander. Let's dive in, respirator on. Go gritty with the sandpaper. I started out with an 80 and ended on a 120. It, the, 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 the finer grit just doesn't even make a dent in it. So start with 80 and cut as much of it as you can. All right, guys, kind of done with the power tools. Going to hand, <laughs> just so I can get a better feel of what's going on. Knocked out the bulk of everything, and now I just want to really work all my edges and see if we can get stuff to kind of bleed together. I'm optimistic the Bondo seems to be holding up really, really well. I'm getting adhesion. I'm not having a lot of flakes or anything like that. I'm just gonna try and get this as uniform as I can. You can see here, I got a lot of cleanup to do. But ideally, we'll get that all nice and smooth, just like that. All right, I got a lot of sanding to do. A lot of sanding was an understatement. I sanded and sanded and sanded. All right, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about where things are going here. Still kind of going by hand. I'm getting right down in there. This is getting really nice and smooth. I just need to clean up some, I don't know, mucky areas like this along the edge. And I'm gonna be in a great, 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 great spot on this. Coming out really great. I gotta get the front edge here just a little bit more. But if this is any indicator, once we get primer on this and we sand that primer, this actually could be working, guys. All right, guys. I'm feeling really good about this. I'm kind of done with sanding. I hit it with some Dremel. I cleaned it up. Now I've got just like this little finishing block. It's like a 3M 120. And I tell you what, this is just putting a nice, nice clean kind of final sand on top of all of this as per instructions. Let's take your time. But look at this. <laughs> this thing is light years away from where it was. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. You guys are gonna leave me all kinds of comments about how I can do this better the next time I try. But for now, this thing is light years ahead. It ain't perfect, but it is cool. I'm uh, really looking forward to putting some primer on it. Just need to work a couple more spots out and we'll get to the epoxy primer. All right, we're going for it, guys. <laughs> we're going for it. I'm gonna give it a wipe down. No acetone or anything, just get as much dust off of this thing as we can. Let's see how this is gonna roll here. So here's what I'm using. 2K epoxy primer gray. Shake your paint, guys. You know how this goes. Feel free to leave comments on my technique. <laughs> this stuff's kind of cool. So it's a two part. So you gotta take this little thing out the bottom. Catch that down here. Follow the instructions guys. Follow the instructions on this stuff. This paint's not cheap. It's like 20 bucks a can. Oh, da, 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 da. where did it say that? Okay, here we go. All the emergency information, have your respirator. Shake it up and down two minutes, flip it upside down, open it. So we're gonna hit it, and then we're gonna shake it again for another two minutes. Shake the paint. All right, yeah. All right we should be good to go. Comes out thick. We're gonna do three coats, okay? Three coats, I'm gonna try to slow down my action a little bit. Oops. We still want to work that corner just a little bit more. Ooh, gotta slow down. Take this one more time. And we're just gonna let her sit. 
Just let it sit. I have to constantly tell myself, slow down. Slow down, Brian. All right, guys, going in for the final third coat. One timer. Slow down. Getting that third coat of primer on felt really good. It's coming together, guys. Stick with me. All right. Now I'm just going to kind of let this sit. There's a couple little spots jumping out at me that I think I could have done a little bit better with. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Maybe that front edge, I could have worked that a little bit more. But overall, I think this looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna let this set up real, real good in the nice warm shop, guys. Feeling positive, feeling optimistic. I don't know, I'm digging it. Well, guys, this paint takes forever to dry. So while I was waiting for the front fender to dry, I actually tackled the rear fender too. This is going to work. And my God, <laughs> I'm pretty excited by the results, but I'm gonna end this video here because it's getting pretty long and we've painted a lot of stuff before. Um, I'm just go, gonna go ahead and paint these with the, <laughs> the uh, what was it called? Hot Rod Black Satin. And then once I get that laid down, put a few coats of that on. And then I'm going to move over to the clear, the clear glamour on this. So you're going to have to check back on the channel, watch a live stream to see the big reveal. I'm just going to let these rest <laughs> and then I'll give them a light sand. I'm going to give them a light sand, light, light sand. Okay, guys. And then start hitting it with the, uh, the hot rod black. I absolutely love this. Guys, I think it can be done. It's a, it, it feels good. This one's a little bit tacky yet, but this one, man, it's been, it's been uh, 24 hours. And I just, I don't wanna start sanding until I know 100% that this stuff is dry. It's again, it's an epoxy primer. So I don't think it's like your 15 minute uh, kind of deal. So I'm gonna go work on something else. It's not like I don't have a whole bunch of other projects to be working on. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Check back on the channel for updates. You'll see these going on the apocalypse bike soon enough. Guys, thanks so much for watching the videos. I appreciate the support. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Also thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. And also, if you wanna stay in touch and keep up to date with what's going on, go to keeponwrenching.com and sign up for the e-newsletter. I'm excited, guys. I think this is gonna work. I think that we actually are painting chrome. I think we're doing it. It, it took a lot of work, though. No lie. This took a lot of effort. A lot more time was put into this than, uh, than, uh, than I thought it was going to. Uh, we'll break it all down on one of the live streams. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.